greetings. As in greeting cards. They're a pretty inseparable part of the Christmas tradition by this point, and have been for a really long time. But uh, one thing that I don't really get a chance to talk about normally is uh, digital greeting cards. And you know, you may not think of them as being a really big deal, and maybe they aren't so much anymore, at least dedicated software for them, but at one point they really were. And today we're going to take a look at a company called Thoughtware that uh, has a really interesting story where really there shouldn't be one, and yet there is, because Christmas. Thoughtware Incorporated was a software company based in Coconut Grove, Florida, and in their early days they were the last company you would expect to sell Christmas programs. Thoughtware produced a management decision support and training software series with such exciting titles as Assessing Personal Management Skills, Defining Goals and Objectives, and Managing Time Effectively. And this stuff was expensive, costing anywhere from $350 to $500 each. Then in 1984, as a token of appreciation for the company's employees and clients, they put together a floppy disk titled Season's Greetings from Thoughtware. This was a simple little program that not only functioned as an advertisement for their training software, but it featured a selection of animated sequences accompanied by holiday music and a nice little Christmas greeting at the end. It was only meant to be a token of thanks and was even considered somewhat frivolous by management, but the reaction from employees and clients was hugely positive. It got such a great response that Thoughtware decided to take a gamble on selling it, and in 1985 they reworked the software titling it The Jingle Disc and sold it in stores for $9.95. One key addition to this version was a simple greeting card maker, which allowed users to customize a pre-made image and print it out themselves. Normally you'd need a far more expensive print program to accomplish something like this, and computer users took note. Over half a million jingle discs sold in the first year, and users were clamoring for more. Seizing opportunity, Thoughtware founded a new division called High Tech Expressions and made more sophisticated card programs like Cardware and Heartware to cash in on this new market. Before long, digital greeting cards and computer games were the company's bread and butter, the Thoughtware name was retired, and high-tech expressions became the brand they were remembered by. This is the 1986 release of Jingle Disc here, and is the first one released under the High Tech Expressions banner. It's quite the humble little package, featuring only some basic information on the back, and a single 360K 5.25 inch floppy disk inside. This one apparently belonged to the LaSalle County Station Apple user group in Morris, Illinois at one point in its life. I wonder if anybody from the group will see this video. If so, then hey, I have your disc. Jingle Disc begins with a creepy jack-in-the-box clown providing you with greetings of the seasonal variety, or at least it does in the 1985 version, since there are a whole slew of animations removed from the 1986 high-tech release, presumably to make more room for more involved Christmas card printing options. So we'll just take a look at the 85 version for this first part, which is the Jingle Disc Christmas Story. Our tale takes place on Christmas Eve in suburbia where snow pixels are falling as fast as the CPU allows them to, and we zoom in on the one house with owners obnoxious enough to line their entire abode in those lights that blink so frantically that they really should prop up an epilepsy trigger warning on the front lawn. Then out of nowhere, a gust of wind blows open the flimsy front door, quadrupling their heating costs instantly and serving as a poignant reminder of the benefits of installing a storm door. We then wander inside because it's technically not breaking and entering, and see that they've gotten rid of the dog since the original animation from Thoughtware. Instead, there's a cat on the floor, and she's just enjoying the heat of the fireplace and ignoring everything else, as cats tend to do. We'll have none of that, says the mouse wearing strange pajamas. I've got a toy soldier taken from the previous program that I can wind up and wreak havoc with. <laughs> While Weird Mouse puts the soldier on his way and mocks him behind his back, the soldier then marches forward and pokes the cat in the nose, waking her up like a total inconsiderate jerk. Even though the cat doesn't seem to care, Weird Mouse runs back to the safety of the candy cane ornament, just in time for his engineer friend and the toy train to drive by. Ha! Look at me! Am I not gangster? Like a total gangster, Weird Mouse drops into the caboose like nothing happened. Because nothing happened, the cat still hasn't even moved. Finally, the cat wanders over that way, wearing an expression conveying all kinds of dissatisfaction about her life choices up to that point. But never fear, Santa Claus with boxing gloves is here. Ho ho ho, I sure do like boxing! 
The jolly old elf plops down some fish and cheese and then hovers his hands in the air above them like he's just had a massive brain fart and can't recover. Weird Mouse and the cat then unwrap their gifts and stuff their faces, nomming away as we head back out into the snow. Looking up in the sky, we see Santa and his reindeer attempting to defy the laws of physics, while Rudolph up front is bleeding profusely from his face! Oh my word, it's so tragic! Somebody please help Rudolph, he's gonna bleed out! And on that bombshell, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. What a nice story. Now, on subsequent Jingle Disc releases, the animations are all truncated, which is pretty unfortunate. Although they did drop in a feature where you can add a customized message to the end, and hey, if there's anything that makes anything better, it's customized messages, am I right? Moving on to the 1986 version now, because it's time to move on to menu option number two, and oh man, I can sense the excitement! Here you can create a greeting disc, which just writes the animated story to a disc with a custom message, and print greeting cards, which does that. Chances are it'll print without any configuration needed, unless you're the crazy person that owns an Okidata 92 and has to be a printing party pooper. Next, you can pick either a full page or a quarter page printout. One folds into quarters, the other doesn't fold at all. Either way, you get to pick from several options, allowing you to customize each and every one of them with your own brand of special greetings. And man, I loved this kind of thing as a kid. I just loved it! Honestly, one of the things I spent the most time with as a youngster was Print Shop Deluxe, so if I had this, I would have tried each and every combination of pictures, words, and printing styles. And yes, just like what happened in real life, I would have gotten chewed out by my parents for wasting ink with this, but that's okay, because I've got printouts to show for it. Just look at these amazing dot matrix creations. They may look like total crap, and you may need to wear ear protection while printing, but dude, this stuff was my jam! Surely these are pieces to be proud of and send to friends and family with confidence. Just fold the quarter page printouts into little cards and there you go. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the full pages except hand them to someone in person or fold it in a way that ruins your fine piece of art. But here they are just in case. And that's pretty much it for Jingle Disc. I love these little programs, and this one actually has some significance in being one of the earliest to really take off commercially. It was also ported to the Commodore 64, Apple II, and Atari 8-bit home computers, so keep an eye out for any copies. It may not be the most exciting thing nowadays to some, but to others, it's a nifty little treasure that has a cool story behind it, and a cool story in it. And hey, it's a Christmas computer thing, and Christmas computer things are just special. I also need to give a quick shout out to a couple of gems. Two different gems helped me with this video. Uh, one of them sent me the jingle disc and the other helped me get one of the versions of them running. So thank you very much to Jim S and Jim L. And if you're neither Jim, well, hello anyway. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, there are other Christmas videos that I have done in the past and more coming in the future. So subscribing or just checking out my channel would be a good thing to do if you uh, want more. And if you want even more, then you can follow and interact with me on Twitter and Facebook for all sorts of other stuff throughout the week. And also support the show monetarily on Patreon if that is your kind of thing. Go to that page in order to see some more details. And as always, thank you very much for watching. 